Good morning to the Monday morning inspiration with the joy of creation. I'm Bettina Medini and I'm so glad you are here. Hello <laughs> and to hello to all of those who will join us, join this, see this, watch this, listen to this later. It's a beautiful Monday morning here um, at my place. It's gorgeous, cold, very cold. We had a very cold night. And with others, it might be a very warm afternoon or in the middle of the night. I'm glad you are here. And what joy, what joy can we bring into our lives? What joy can we expand beyond anything that we even thought possible? So how have you all been? How was your week? And also know that you can ask questions about whatever you would like to talk about or whatever you would like me to talk about, whatever you would like us to talk about, because we can also have a conversation. And so what if this is the beginning of an amazing journey? Joy is something that we usually don't learn in this reality about. Like, it's not something that, like, have, you, have any of you heard about this? Like, oh, cultivate joy, nurture joy in your life. Have you heard this when you grew up? Was this something that you learned in grade school that somebody told you, hey, you are so joyful, this is amazing. What can you create with this? What do you love? What, what do you enjoy? What gives you happiness? What makes you happy? And so usually we don't, we don't, we don't learn about this. And so, so for now, just let us oh, relax and breathe. What if this entire planet, what if the earth, would love us all to be joyful. <clears throat> and what if joy <clears throat> is sort of a space, not just this frantic joy, like on steroid or something, <clears throat> but a space. And I like to see it as the space that nature is the space that the forest is. They are not doing it, right? The forest is not doing joy. So have you made joy about doing something, about doing the right thing? And you know, when I ask you what gives you joy, it is really, it, yes, it is about finding something that gives you joy that you, it might be a doing by painting or creating something, writing a book. <clears throat> For some of you, it might be walking in the forest and then you might discover there's so much more. So what if these doing choices are these choice after choice after choice where we can actually add more and more and more of that to our lives? And eventually we will find that we have sort of more of a space. So everywhere you have squeezed and pressed joy into a linear doing, sort of where you have concluded that this is it and I must do this, otherwise I don't have joy. <laughs> Are you willing to let that go? Thank you. Cool. Truly, what if it is more of a spherical space? Like when you look at, let's say, take an animal out in the wild, a squirrel. Would you say a squirrel is depressed or a squirrel, squirrel is joyful? <laughs> should have, should have chosen a different thing to pronounce. <laughs> Eichhörnchen. 
<laughs> for my German friends. <clears throat> look, look at that squirrel. Um, what is that space? Look at the deer. What is that space? Are they depressed? Are they joyful? Even now they, the hunting season opens. So right now, even with hunters being out there, are deer depressed? Do they hide in a rabbit hole and never come out? So <clears throat> I'm really talking about that type of joy and the joy of creation is really it's a space what if we can explore that together what this will be and then you can add things to your life rather than cutting things off cutting things off for whatever reason you choose that thing i talk about things that give you joy that you cut off what does that create? What if, what if we rather add to our lives rather than taking anything away? Of course, things that don't work for you or you, you find, oh, I want to give this a break or whatever. I've done enough tap dance lessons <laughs> or whatever, ballroom dancing. I want to do something else. Yes, that. But, you know, how often, maybe like for financial reasons. In my family, it was that when money was tight or whatever, if you look at that, like what do you cut out? It's usually the fun things that you cut out. And what is that all about? What if we add more of the joyful things? So just for now, um, relax and, and breathe. A long inhale and a long exhale. Relax your body. Relax. Everywhere you have went into your head. I will repeat this, okay? So everywhere, because we don't only go into our head once. <laughs> so everywhere you have went into your head today, drop that energy into your body, into your feet. I drop all that energy into the earth. It's just energy. The earth, by the way, does not have a point of view about good or bad energy. So any energy you can contribute to the earth. The earth will take this energy and use it. Wherever the earth chooses to use it. You cannot do that. Only the earth can do that. <laughs> what can we all learn from the earth? What can we receive from the earth? Hmm. Relax. Breathe. Hmm. And I would like you now to expand out. Expand out. 100 miles around you. For those of you who have questions about it or you will go, wow, how do I do this? By asking. You could start with like, just sense the outer edges of your body, be aware of that. Notice, hey, where is my physical body? Where is my body? Hey, body. Hey, body. Help me with this. And then expand out 10 feet around you and into the earth, like a sphere. And 100 feet around you and into the earth. 10 miles around you and into the earth. And notice. What is this creating? And so again, it's not about figuring out the how to do it and going into the head and being all cognitive about it. It's about asking for it. You might notice you are all doing it already. 50 miles around you, 1,000 miles around you, expand out further. 
100,000 miles around you and into the earth. And what do you notice? How different is that? So every time, every time you are sort of in a uh, place or mm, whatever you concluded there, some of you might say, I don't feel good or mm, the day is not good. Is that actually true? Like, is that actually true? And is this all there is? Or what else is possible there? So uh, for instance, when you wake up in the morning and you are like, oh, <laughs> expand out, expand out. So how much do you contract you? And what is that? So instead of contracting, like just play with this tool that, that I would love to give to you today. Expand out 100,000 miles around you and into the earth. And notice what changes. It might change anything that was going on. So everywhere you have been looking at your creations, whatever you created, and you judge those. Expand out, use this tool, expand out and see what changes for you. How many people are contracted? How many people are like so pulled in that it's almost painful? Is it painful for you when you pull in? Yeah, yeah, it is. Hmm. Hmm. So what choice can you make that would change that? I would really love to inspire you into looking, looking at these things. Because how much have you judged your joy with creation out of your life by being contracted, contracted, rather than being expanded? When, when you go out, let's say you go out, let's say you go to the beach or you go into a forest or you, what, whatever it is that you like, you go on a mountain. What do you notice there? Are you still contracted or are you more expanded? I'm just wondering here. And what... What if we could be that space all the time? What, it, what if it doesn't matter where we are? But usually when we walk down Times Square or we are in any big city, we could pretty much be anywhere, even in a small town. We basically well, are so aware of everybody else and we just pull in. So instead of pulling in, and being all tight and squeezed in, expand out. And I wonder what can we create when we choose to never give that space up? Never give that space up. Sometimes I cannot leave so <laughs> What if we never give that up, but we stay expanded? What will that create? So, what would be fun for you? I found a great quote and some of you might have read it. I posted it in our Facebook group where you can post too, by the way. And it is from the movie Practical Magic. And it's, it's one of my favorite movies. I love watching it every once in a while. And I really love when they dance with the tequila. And so, mm, anyway, Aunt Frances says, my darling girl, when are you going to realize that being normal is not necessarily a virtue? It rather denotes a lack of courage. 
So where have you made you normal? And what if you are not normal and you never were? Hmm. You know, I want to say, when you are on this morning inspiration session, when you find it, if you have found it, if you are here, if you are listening to this, even way in the future, you are not normal. You are not. So, <laughs> has anybody ever told you that you are crazy? Has somebody, whenever that was, ever made you wrong for being that amazing creator who was always running around, always busy, always creating something? Has anybody told you you must focus on something or you cannot do this? I had that a lot in my life. You cannot do this. You cannot be this. You have to concentrate. You have to, you have to focus. What if you don't? What if your universe is totally different? What if your universe is so much more colorful than everybody else's universe that you scared them? What if your universe is like this? Do you see this? And this, mm, mm, okay, let's for a moment, everywhere you have tried to be normal, and you have eliminated all the things that are fun for you, or maybe many things that are fun for you, and you, you just forgot about them. Just it, it so happened, which nothing really happens. We create everything. So everywhere you have allowed that normality, that mediocrity to creep into your life, slowly, slowly, slowly over the years, like that's pretty much abuse energy, abuse very often occurs very slowly. You don't notice it right away, right? So everywhere you have allowed this creeping in normal that takes all the tequila out of your life, <laughs> everywhere you have allowed that, will you please give that up now? And I don't say you have to drink tequila. You get the energy, right? <laughs> so would you be willing to let that go, give that up? Thank you. Cool. <laughs> and what can you choose now? What can you choose now to be, to be you, to be? So let's, okay, for a moment, let's just acknowledge this you that you truly are, the being that is not normal, that has never been normal. that is so creative, that has ideas, that has colors, that has a song, that has a dance, that has laughter and motion and giggles and smiles and curious eyes, curiosity and gratitude, sparkles and fringes and, you know, shells and seaweed in your hair. Hmm. Earth tattoos on your body. Hmm. So are you willing to acknowledge that being that is dancing with the stars, the being that is really so aware of that sensation and the tickles when you walk barefoot on the earth, when you touch a tree bark, when you smell a flower, when you are with the wild animals, when you listen to the birds, all the bird song like a symphony, that, that, that. Let's acknowledge that. the gods and goddesses that you truly are. Acknowledge that, please. Make it bigger. Make it really big. 
Yeah, that. More and more and more. Yes, that. That. And breathe. That being you. See, that being you never really went away. You cannot because you are being it. You just listen to a couple of stupid people who told you that you cannot be it. You can. And with all of that, you can also still have a job, go, go to work or like whatever you, you know, we can be in this reality with that. And then what would it be that you can add to your life? So you nurture that being, you care for it, which also includes your body. Caring for your body, nurturing your body and nurturing you. Inviting the earth to be with you, to contribute energy to you. To invite the earth into the space between the molecules of your body. <laughs> yeah, that, cool. Mm. That space. And breathe into that space. Mm. What is that for you? What do you notice? What can you create with this space? What can you choose now from this space, with this space, with the earth? What's fun for you? You can, you can draw something, you can choose colors. You know, when I'm, when I'm painting or knitting or writing, how can I say this? I am not thinking like mm, having a concept or something like this is what I'm gonna do. When I started this piece, I was sort of playing, I'm playing, I'm, can you see this? I'm playing, I'm dabbling, I'm, I'm, I have all the colors spread out. What I'm always doing is I have, I, lo I love color. I love, 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 love color. If you would like to, to play well, more with color and for me to give you some tools to use with color, let me know post that let me know post that in the facebook group or send me an email let me know what is it what is it that i can contribute to you what if i am a well of information for you of tools <laughs> and what can we create together you asking me questions and telling me what you would like me to talk about will also let me know what i can talk about <laughs> Oh yeah, that was really very wise right now. Okay, <laughs> welcome to my world. Anyway, and then I, I spread all the colors out. I have it all there and yummy colors, rich colors. And I just start with one and I just play. And again, I'm not in my head. I drop all this energy into my body. I'm sort of not there. So where do you have that in your life? Because we always know this. I'm, what I've, I've been getting from working with, working with people in sessions or in classes is that we all have some area in our life where we have that space, where we are actually not in the head, where we are not thinking, where we are not figuring things out. And it's a very magical space, right? Have you noticed it? This is for me what magic is. <clears throat> it is when we are not in our heads. And it's also what Aunt Frances is talking about, where we are not normal, <laughs> right? Everybody else is in their heads. What if we never go to our heads? But we expand out, we stay expanded and we ask questions. What would be fun for me to create? What color would I love to play with? Or you can do this, 
with your body. I asked my body this morning, hey body, what would you like to wear? And my body said, you know, it, it showed me this dress, like very colorful, very orange, and also like silky, also like vintage and psychedelic or whatever, right? What is psychedelic anyway, right? What is that space when we have no barriers? which is also the forest. Forest has no barriers. A bird has no barriers. A squirrel doesn't have any barriers. They don't say, oh, today I will not look at you. No, they are like space. Hmm. I had a little squirrel once. I, it came to me, it had, it had fallen out of, out of the nest and um, it was not, um, old enough it was walking and everything but it couldn't feed itself yet so here it was this little squirrel sitting in front of me like okay now what and um i didn't have a clue <laughs> what <laughs> and so how do i feed a squirrel anyway um found the ways and so i was taking care of this squirrel for for two months and you know at times it was just sitting on my hands and we were looking at each other and I was showing the squirrel images of the forest and the trees like hey you know you are going to go out in nature you are going to be wild you are not my pet I just help you along because your mommy wasn't showing up and while I was looking into the squirrel's eyes the squirrel looked straight into my eyes and showed me a space and wow it's really this this was so touching and it is still touching to this day it is a space that has no words and it's a space that i know of and i know i know you all know the space you know you had it you had it at a sunset or at a sunrise you had it when you held a baby you know the space that i'm talking about what if we had this all the time a space of no walls no barriers where we are totally vulnerable, right? Having that, being that, what can we create? You choosing it. What future is this creating for all of us? And I'm so grateful you all are here. And what is this creating for your life? Showing up and choosing it. It's a journey. It's an adventure. It takes courage. How courageous are you all that you have never acknowledged? How courageous are you? You are here. <laughs> you are here now. You are on the planet. Wow, this is amazing. Let's celebrate. Let's, let's have fun and enjoy this, this journey. And really, like, what is there? Do you notice this energy, like, what is there? What are you the source of? What, what source are you? What are you the source of oh, that you have not acknowledged? And what is asking you right now to be created? What do you want to create? What is ask? What? Yeah, let me ask it. <laughs> let me ask it this way. What is asking you to be created by you? through you, with you, and your body. Hmm. So let me know, do you have questions right now? I will check what the time is. Yes, we are past already, but I started a little late too. So I'm so happy you are here. Thank you so much. And what can you create? What joyful creation will you start and bring into your life this week? And um, do you have questions? If you have questions, post them. If you would like me to talk about something that you are creating or where you think um, that is in the way, let's talk about this. Let's clear it out. And um, yeah, what else is possible, truly? Thank you so much. <laughs> you are so welcome and find me on my youtube channel find me on facebook and um if you have not found me there yet and have a wonderful day have a wonderful week and i see you again next monday bye bye
Bye-bye. <laughs>